Hi everyone, this is JP for Freeway Camper Kit. Today I'm gonna show you the Malibu for families. Uh, we will make uh, the walk around. I have a kit installed right there into my minivan. You need to know that uh, there are two colors for the countertop. This is the gray one. You can have uh, the one that it's uh, wood finish, uh, as you can see on the website. So let's start right now for the walk around. All right, so this is the countertop. This is the kitchen part of the Malibu for families. And you have the big sink so you can wash uh, all your dishes without any problems. Uh, you have a big uh, cooler, thermoelectric cooler where you can store a lot of food. Uh, it's all built in. You have uh, the laminate countertop which is very very durable. It is the same thing that you have in your house. Uh, all the structure is made out of um, plywood, Russian cherry wood plywood. So this is very sturdy. It cannot be damaged by uh, water, it's very durable. Here is the water level gauge. See? So this is a way to uh, to know where you are, what you want with your water, so that way you won't run out. Uh, there is a small cap here that you need to put when you are on the road to ev to avoid any uh, water spill. Uh, this is the main switch for the water pump. shower or standard uh, draining. Okay, now I will show you how to set up the shower. It's very easy. You just pull out the shower head, turn this thing towards you. you just hook up the shower with a gear tie. You make a loop and you put it in the handle. Then you have a shower. There you go. So you can take a shower anywhere. That's it. Just put it back in. That was the shower. Uh, this is the holding tank for the wastewater. If you're making the, the dishes, you can just leave the sink and drain the water somewhere uh, because other way, you know, you're gonna have to drain this one. So better do it one. And uh, the small water reservoir underneath, it's more for uh, uh, the use uh, if you brush your teeth, if you wash your hands, and small things like that. So this is the bed. It measures 48 inches wide by 72 inches long. It is foldable cushions. So two cushions that folds in two parts. Just like that. This is the structure. There's enough space to put a lot of things underneath. You can even put the small kids that can sleep on this side, like so. So if you have a family and you, you want to make a travel, you want to travel for cheap, this is the best way to go. So this is the clean water tank, 27 liters. Now let's fold the bed and put it back into position when you're on the road. All right, so obviously the first thing you need to do uh, in order to put the seat back in position is to remove the cushions. So you take them out. And after that, you need to fold back the bed main panels. Just like so. And after that, you just need to take the framing off, just put them underneath the main panels, just like so. All right, so I just want to recall something. If you are only two travelers, uh, you don't have to put uh, the supports all the time. You can just leave it as is. Um, in order to take the still and go seats out, you need to put uh, to fold all the bed structure. But if you are only two and you just uh, need some space here, you leave it as is. When you're doing your bed, you pull out the, the telescopic frame, hook it up, unfold the, the mattress, and that's it. 
So one of the, the nice feature of the Malibu for families is the ability to make a table. So you can have a dinner, you can uh, use it as a, an office desk. Uh, thanks to the uh, dismantable hinges, you can just move the panel to make the table. Uh, you take the cushions uh, that creates the bed and you can uh, just sit on them and use one as a back panel and the other one as your seat. So uh, I will move the parts to show you how to, uh, to construct the table. All right, <clears throat> so to install the panel, so you need to have the pins removed and to put it back, you just put the pins back into the holes. Just slide it right there, you align the holes and you just put the pins in. You just fold it. You push the frame back in. And that's you can it. Now put the cushions on. It is as simple as that. Okay, so when this is done, uh, you need to take the front frame support off. Those things are machined, so they are made to fit into each other. So it's easy to assemble, easy to remove. So you're taking the legs off. Those things are foldable as well. You take less space. And now you're gonna use that, or if you are two, you need someone that's gonna support uh, the panels here, or you can use that. All right, so now you need to take off uh, the frames. So it's very easy, you take the support, you lift, the two panels together, you wedge the support underneath so it will hold the main panel and after that you take the two frames off. Just like so. Now you need to lift this part here and slide it towards the back. You're gonna see there's an angle and this part uh, will go right in and it's gonna act as a stopper for uh, the bench. When this is done, uh, you take the frame and there's enough space right here to put the two frames. And after that, you can put front support inside. You can, you can put them on the side, underneath, uh, in the back. There's many places you can store them. So finally, you take this part off. It's gonna go right there. You unfold the panels. Now you will see, I don't know the picture if you see it, but there are two holes, okay? Those two holes will go right into their sliding locks on each side. So the sliding locks will prevent the structure from uh, moving when, when you are on the road. So you're pushing everything towards the back, just like that. And after that, you unfold this. Now you need to align the two holes in order to get the panel properly installed. Okay, so when the panel is locked in place with the sliding locks, you can just put back the cushions in. In order to uh, have a better vision in the back, just leave the two cushions folded as that, so it won't uh, obstruct the uh, rear view. When this is done, you can just pull out your snow and go seats. So this is done. You are now ready to go back on the road. Um, now we're gonna make uh, the bed. So let's do the opposite as we just did. You take cushions out. Lift the panel, take the front support off, you take the frames out, you take the support to lift the two main panels, you unfold that carefully, slowly. You are moving this part towards the front slot, you are supporting the main bed panel with the support. 
you are putting the bed frame. By using the two straps, it's easier to maneuver. This is done. So now you assemble the front support. You make it even on each side. So just uh, use the seat to align. Install the support in the machine heads. After that, pulling the frames, you install the frame and the support. And that's it. So everything has been put together. You just unfold it. So the bed is made. Um, let's try it out. There we go. Oops. Oh, it's very comfortable. I wish I could take a nap. But uh, maybe next time. So this is very sturdy. I'm gonna check if you're making some exercise here. <laughs> All right, so that was GP for Free Week Amper Kit. Check out my other videos. Thanks, bye-bye.